What's up YouTube? I'm here for just a quick little unboxing, unpackaging video today. Here I have one of the new mystery mini Spider-Man series. Classic Spider-Man series. This is honestly what I'm most excited about. Also I have this Spider-Man Pint Size Heroes from Toys R Us. As you can see you get Spider-Man and you get the Vulture. But there's a mystery figure in here as well. Now I know they already put spoils up on the internet, spoilers up on the internet and stuff. I think I've seen them, but I really don't remember like which extra person you get. So it's a mystery for some. Also, we got a few Tsum Tsums here. If you watch my videos, I told y'all a couple of videos ago about how much like you know my girlfriend collects Tsum Tsums, and I secretly love Tsum Tsums too. These are like some of the older Marvel Tsum Tsums. And this is the newest series of Disney Tsum Tsums. Now I'm not going to take all day to show you all the different characters I could possibly get. Because there's a lot. But without further ado. Let's start. I think I'm going to start off with one of the Tsum Tsums. Now. I advise you people always have some scissors in your house. I can't find any scissors in my house, so I'm using this damn murder weapon to open up some toys. But it works. All right. It looks like we have Gamora. If I'm not mistaken, it's Gamora. And here's what she looks like. You like her? Yes. I don't think I have her yet. No, we don't have her yet. And the cool thing about Tsum Tsums is if this is all you got, if this is all you got, I wouldn't care about Tsum Tsums that much. But they come with like little bases, little like display pieces. And I just find them to be pretty awesome. So basically... Hers isn't that detailed and cool, but I believe they hers like connects with the other Guardians of the Galaxy to make one big display for your Tsum Tsums. So I'm going to put her right there on her little display. And now I think I'm going to go ahead and open up the Pint Size Heroes. I like the way the box looks so much, so I just want to keep it that way. Alright, so, like I said, we have Spider-Man. I'll pop his package for you. They kind of look like Weeble Ooh. Wobbles. You know what I mean? He's super cute. They Weeble, they wobble, but they don't fall down. Put Spidey up here. And, we have the Vulture. Now, this guy is really cool. They're actually, like, if you could really get a good look at them, they're actually really detailed. One thing I've, I'm happy about is he actually has the green eyes. Some of the toys that they've been coming out with Vulture don't have the little green eyes. And that's a detail I really like. They also have full, like, full detail on his little wings. His super small ass wings on the back. So I definitely think that's pretty cool. So I'll put him up there next to Spidey. And the mystery is, ooh, it's Tony Stark. As Cincy Nerdman will call him, Tony Stink. But it's Tony Stark in his little cat shirt, just like the Tony Stark pop that everybody loved and I loved. Like his hair is even detailed. He's got his sunglasses on and his little suit. Uh, this is really dope, really dope. So these like basically the only three I want out of the Spider-Man movie pint size heroes and I got all three of them so I'm happy about that they're pretty cool if you saw my video I got this whole set for five bucks at wrongly priced at Toys R Us alright so I'm going to go ahead and open up the new series of Disney Simpsons this is what we're really excited about because we, we, this is our first one from the series, so we know we're not going to get someone we already have, for a fact. We want Piglet. It's not Piglet. No. 
It's not piglet at all. It's Randall. Now Randall. From Bug? No, he's not oh. from Bug's Life. He's from Monsters Inc. Oh. I think, um, do you remember the guy who could like change colors kind of like a chameleon and stuff? Yes. Off of Monsters Inc. I believe, don't, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that's who he is. And this is what he looks like. He has a little mohawk thingy. I remember him. Has a little blue tail, I guess, yeah, he's got the blue tail to show you, you know, he changes colors. And he's got this little display piece. So I like the little chemicals that they transfer, I think. Or the, the fear, I don't know exactly what they transfer, I kind of forgot. Oops, sorry. But yeah, another thing about Sim Sims is all their things usually you could kind of like stack on their back as well. And you could just stack him right on top of her. And it'd just be like unlimited stacking. Yeah, my girlfriend just decides to knock over all of my pints of heroes. And I just don't feel like that right now. I'm not gonna set them back up. <laughs> Alright. Basically, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this. We're gonna save the best for last, or the best to me for last. Hopefully, it's someone we don't got. We got quite a few from this series. I don't think we have him. Mm, who is that? <gasps> this is Iron Spider-Man. Yes. We don't have him yet either. So we got lucky. We usually get lucky with Tsum Tsums. Like we have over like a hundred Tsum Tsums, I believe now. And we only got like a, maybe six duplicates. So yeah, my girlfriend has good luck at these. Way better luck than I have at the Mystery Minis. I remember one time I got, I'm trying to, it was the Guardians of the Galaxy wave of mystery minis, and I got like 10 Gamoras, literally. So, let's see. Oh yeah, this is the, this might be one of my favorite Marvel ones yet, due to the design. Let me get it down pat really good. I suck at stuff. Yeah, his display piece was actually, you know, the Iron Spider's extra legs. Which is really cool. And he stands there like that. That's really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Seems to be a lot of Spider-Man stuff in this mystery mini unboxing today. And soon soon. Alright. Now, here's on the back all the different characters you can get. I'll be happy with just about anybody. I love Spider-Man. Definitely. Mm, I like all the villains, so I'm hoping it's a villain. I'm a big villain guy. When it comes to toys, everything. You can keep the heroes. Just give me the villains. It's looking kind of dark in here. Can't even make out what's in there. Probably because it's a symbiote. And look who I got. Ooh. Venom. Definitely happy that I got Venom. It's definitely one of the, I think he's one of the best villains out there growing up in the 90s. He was very prominent in the Spider-Man comic books when I was growing up. And he really took over Marvel Comics for a while. Like, Venom's just a dope character. Now, me, when I was a kid, Venom was actually my favorite villain growing up. But as I got older and I started going back and reading, like, 1970s Spider-Man and the older Spider-Man runs, I started having more of appreciation and a love for the classic Spider-Man villains. But nonetheless, he's definitely one of my favorite characters from Marvel. You see he's got his tongue out. He's a... Oops. I tend to destroy things. But yeah, he's a little bobblehead. His head actually kind of spins a little bit. So I guess that's good for my toy photography. 
And if y'all don't know, if you read Marvel Comics, Eddie Brock just got the Venom suit back and it's about to have a whole new run of Venom. Don't get me wrong, Agent Venom was kind of cool, Flash Thompson as Venom was alright, but I'm an Eddie Brock Venom type of guy. I want Eddie Brock to be my Venom. So, be sure to go check that new comic series out. It's Venom issue 150, I believe. But I guess that's all for this little unboxing and unpackaging video for you guys today. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe and enter my giveaway. And you have a good day, YouTube.